Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys winter hiking, but this isn't just any winter hike. It is my last of the New Hampshire 48 in the winter. There are 48 4,000 footers in New Hampshire, and it's this list that, um, I don't know, people who hike do. It's one of the lists. I've done the 48 in the summer. I've done the 67, which is the 67 4,000 footers in New England. Um, and I've also done the 100 highest mountains in New England. So the New Hampshire 48, we came back to that to finish that in the winter. Yeah, finishing that today. Um, the mountain is Jefferson, which is the third highest. It definitely wasn't our first choice to finish on, but it kind of just worked out that way with the weather with the other mountains. So it is 4 a.m. Um, I just caught up and I'm dressed to leave because we have over a two hour drive. We didn't want to stay at a hotel. So yeah, let's go hike. I guess this is something that should be shown if I'm showing hiking because we have to bring a lot of stuff, but this is my pack right here. I can show you guys more of it later, but it's all ready to go. So I'm just going to finish getting ready and then we will head out. So I'm just getting in the car now. It is 4.30, so we're gonna head out in a minute. But yeah, we have the tuli on and everything so that we can have our skis for tomorrow and possibly the next day if we're feeling up to it. Starting our hike, um, we parked at the Cog, and I think we're going up the Jewel Trail, and there's like no snow here. You can see um, what there is is like really crusty. It's been pretty warm, so thankfully this is our last one and we won't have to deal with this anymore because it can get kind of tough when it's just ice left or when it's like a lot of rocks. So I will show you what I'm looking at right now. It's really pretty, but they look very tall. So we haven't been going for very long, but the trail is kind of difficult. It's like the thinnest layer of fresh snow on like ice and hard pack frozen crustiness. So it's gonna be a long day for sure. I think it's 10 miles and 4,000 feet of vertical. So it's definitely gonna be a lot, but yeah, here's the trail. You can't really tell how tough the footing is, um, but I haven't put on spikes yet because it tends to like hurt my feet after a while. So I try to bare boot for as long as I can. This is a sign that they have at the beginning of any above tree line sections on the presidentials. For some reason, they didn't have it on this trail, but I always find it really interesting to see that. So we made it to the Alpine Zone. Um, we've been hiking for about two hours, I think, and I think almost the rest of the hike is above tree line, so you can kind of see where we're going up there a little bit. Um, I had to shed a layer because I was just so warm, so I took off my fleece and my snow pants, so I'm just hiking in leggings, which is different, but at least I'm a good temperature. 
So yeah, let's keep going. I want to explain why I took off layers because it seems pretty dumb with it being so cold out, but um, obviously I was going up and 26 or like the mid 20s is pretty warm for hiking in the winter. I took off layers because it's really bad if you sweat in the winter and then you get cold when you go up to the top, you can get hypothermia. So it's really dangerous if you get wet in the winter. So it's important to stay dry and stay a good temperature. I'm just stopping to put on a layer and look at this view. There's Washington right there and it's so high. It is pretty much just kind of like so I'm gonna keep going. We're kinda of losing our view um as there's like a storm coming through and like so I'm hiding right here. But uh we're kinda of like crossing I know there's like a flat part where we're crossing over to Jefferson because we're not actually like on the mountain yet but we've been going back and forth between spikes and no spikes right now I'm at no spikes I did have my spikes on for like 10 minutes if that so I will update you when we finally decide but yeah I think I might have a snack and then we're gonna keep going So we're just stopping for a second. I have my bagel sandwich here and um, it's getting pretty windy and you can not see a thing. Really. So you can see a little bit where we came from over there, but um, you can see one of the falls of the of Jefferson. We're kind of just like in between. We just went to a trail junction and the sign was falling down. Very informative. We're just going to keep going. We've got some up left and some more exposed areas, but um, spikes were definitely the move because it is very, very icy out. Headed up the final ascent right now. It has been really windy and cold, but I did it. But Washington is actually going in and out of the clouds. It's kind of clearing up a little bit, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. I think I'm just going to have some cookies. And sadly, we do have like a big up section left, so that'll be fun. But I think we've got the hardest part done. back down to this little outcropping and now we're going back into the trees so the rest of the hike should be very straightforward. Just crossing the cog now but we made it. So that was number 48. It's been 12 years in the making. That was when I started winter hiking. I've been regular hiking in the whites for quite a bit longer than that, but winter hiking 
is a whole different animal in terms of safety and how much equipment you need. So I didn't start that for a while. Check on the 48 for the winter. It was a really great hike. Um, it was definitely very technical. I would not have picked it as my last hike, but so be it. The weather kind of lined up that way, so we had to do that as our last one. But honestly, after Zeeland last weekend, which was 20 miles, it was not so bad at all. I'm really happy we're done and that um, the conditions weren't worse because it seems like after maybe just a few more days, there would be like no snow at all or whatever, because down here, it's pretty bare, to be honest. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me on my last winter hike for the Winter 48. Um, I had a lot of fun, it was challenging, and I just love sharing these things with you. So let me know if you wanna see any more hiking vlogs or whatever you wanna see, if you wanna learn about my gear, just whatever. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. Check out my Etsy shop, also at Rosie Revolts, and my book at gutterdoorsbook.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. This video actually isn't over because I was just finishing it up. I was about to post it tonight. And then I was looking at the letter that we got with our patches. I was gonna show you guys it. And it turns out the award ceremony is tonight. So we're on our way. Um, they're gonna give, they give out like scrolls. So the last time we went was for my 67 and 48 in 2014 I think so it's been quite a while because we didn't get to go for one for the hundred highest so I think it should be pretty fun it's cool to see everybody's like pictures and all the other different awards that you can get so yeah start first with the winter finishers since that is a much more challenging commitment given some longer road walks and uh, some harsher weather. We also hit a milestone here. We had 56 new members bringing us to 1,020. So or we hit the 1,000 mark for members of the White Mountain 4,000 footer club. And the most popular finishing peak was Jefferson. Followed by a three-way tie for second between Boncliff, Eisenhower, and Zealand, which is my finish, so I'm sort of interested to cut, cut pocket all of a sudden. And then rounding out the top five was Musil. And Rosie is the youngest finisher of the females of, of the White Mountain 4,000 footers in winter.